You're watching the story of Shorty's Barbecue and Shorty Allen. I'm with Teresa, the head waitress here at Shorty's here in, in Kendall. Now, how long have you been working at Shorty's? 20 years. 20 years in the same location? Yes. How did that happen? <laughs> uh, you like your job? So you've been working, you know, you've seen a lot of people come and go. Absolutely. You've seen the regulars come back and return and return and return. What are some of the things they tell you that makes them keep returning? Um, they, they love the atmosphere, um, the great food. We have excellent ribs, chicken. Our corn on the cob is world famous. We're world famous all over the country because of our corn on the cob and our ribs. Um, people come from Brazil twice a year on their vacations and we're mobbed by Brazilians that come because they absolutely love the corn and they come because it's, they, they don't get this type of food in their own country and we're very very famous, famous in, in their country. Um, Argentina, Chilean, they, uh, they love this type of food and this is the food that they can't get in their own country. Over the time that you've been here, what are some of your, your favorite memories while working here? Well, um, you know, it's funny that you asked that. I, um, I have waited on a lot of customers I've, and watched them be children and then have children and now bringing their own children, you know, and it's kind of neat to watch that through the years of generations and, and they keep coming back, you know. Um, I have a set of uh, quadruplets that started coming here when they were um, six weeks old. They are now 19. You know, and they're all in college and driving and things like that. And, and there's a lot of customers that you have like that, that um, are always coming back. And like I said, and when they have children, their, their children start bringing their children, which is pretty neat to see, you know. We have customers that have been eating here since the 50s, you know, and their kids, and then now their kids, you know. So it's pretty awesome to watch, you know. And it's kind of like we're all family here. We've all been here a long time. Um, the management's been here a long time, and, and it's a good company to work for. Now, people who have been here during the 50s were here before you. Absolutely. They remember the, uh, the original food, exactly. the recipe, how it tastes. From what I understand, you've continued the same flavor exactly. all the way through the decades. Uh -huh. Everything is just the same. Um, we have what we call a shorty's barbecue sauce that is made homemade here. It's a vinegar-based smoke sauce. And customers, I mean, I say they drink it sometimes. They absolutely love it. I mean, they put it on everything, corn, fries. You know, it's nothing for them to take the lid off and just dump it on their sandwich, you know. So, I mean, it's a very famous sauce, you know. Um, people get it. They come to t our takeout counter, and if they're going to have a barbecue at home, nothing's the same without shorty sauce. So they have to come and get gallons of sauce, you know? Gallons. Yeah. Okay. Now, obviously, you've seen a lot of, like, I guess, Miami's movers and shakers and celebrities come and going out of the restaurant. Where are some of the... Who are some of the people you may have seen coming, um, coming and leaving Lewis out of here? Eats, Lennox Lewis eats here um, at least once a month. Um, I personally have waited on Oliver Stone. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, the head coach for the Cowboys, um, he eats here occasionally. Um, let's see, there's been, there's been a lot of uh, people that have passed through here. Um, Casey from the Casey and the Sunshine Band has been here a few times. Um, um, I don't know if you know the rap star Trick Daddy has been here, you know. So I mean, you you have you have your people that come through here, you know. It's pretty neat to watch. If there was something you would tell somebody who's never been to the restaurant before as an incentive to come in, what would you tell them? Well, I have, you know, you have customers that come in and, you know, that, like I said, they've never been here before and so they really want to know about the food, you know, and you explain. We, we smoke our food. We have a huge smoker in the back and our ribs are, are hickory smoked. And, and then we grill them, you know, for, for a little bit of time and they fall off the bone. They're, they're very tender. They're wonderful. And like I said, you know, um, you, you can't get that, you know, in most barbecue restaurants. We also have baby back ribs, which are done with a sweet sauce and grilled, and they also fall right off the bone. They're both pork, and our chicken is out of this world. We have the best chicken in town, I believe, you know. Have you ever met Jordan? 
I did meet Shorty, yes, a couple years ago. I sure did. What was that like? It was, you know what? It was pretty neat to have worked for the company for some time and had actually never met him. And he was exactly what I thought, you know? He was exactly what I thought he was going to be, you know? Very kind, very nice man, and uh, very pleased to meet everybody, you know? And, you know, had to ask us how, you know, everybody, how long have you been working here? You know, stuff like that. A very, very nice gentleman. She ran on in, I did not have to poke her. I found her mesmerized by the smoker. Drooling as that juicy pig turned golden brown. Next thing I know, she was ordering by the pound. She liked a smoke brisket, wouldn't miss it. Ha <laughs> ha, baby, that sure is nice.